In December 1974, two amazing things happened. First what? off, I was born. <laughs> Thank you, David. And secondly, Ira David Wood III first performed his adaptation of A Christmas Carol. This hit holiday musical comedy is celebrating 39 years, and David joins us now to talk about the upcoming shows. Hello. Hello. Thank you for making me feel two days older than water. Oh, my goodness. What do you think, after all these years, is the secret to this show's success? Well, I think, you know, after 38 years, it's like an old friend, and people love to visit with friends over the holidays. Yeah. So I think that's what they do. They come back, they see something that's familiar, but we try to add a few new things mm -hmm. as well. Uh, and so this year you're going to be two in two different locations, right? You're going to be at Duke, downtown Raleigh, and also at Deepak. That's right. Has it that's just right. been that popular? Uh, well, we're doing five in Durham and five in Raleigh. We, we were the first uh, big theater uh, a show to open in Deepak when it opened its doors. So uh, we love that facility, but you know, Memorial Auditorium has been home. So we're going to divide five and five this year. Yeah, so the entire view, most of the viewing audience can get there. We're going to spread it around. Mm -hmm. Spread the funny. That's it. Spread the funny. All yes. right, we have a little surprise for you. Uh oh. Uh, as we've done in the past with uh, other times that I've met you in my life, um, you usually do a dramatic reading for us. Yes. And it's blown up. I mean, this morning I looked online and the video had 1.5 million views. Yes. 1.5 million. Yes. And so here, and he hadn't seen this yet, here's Ira David Wood with a dramatic reading of the number one song in America, Lords Royals. Royals. Channeling the old actor. <clears throat> I've never seen a diamond in the flesh. <laughs> I cut my teeth on wedding rings in the movies, and I'm not proud of my address in a torn up town, no postcode envy. But every song's like gold teeth, gray goose tripping in the bathroom, blood stains, ball gowns, trash in the hotel room. We don't care, we're driving Cadillacs in our dreams. But everybody's like crystal, Maybach, diamonds on your timepiece, jet planes, islands, tigers on a gold leash. We don't care, we aren't caught up in your love affair, and we'll never be royals. It don't run in our blood. That kind of lux just ain't for us. We crave a different kind of buzz. Let me be your ruler. You can call me Queen Bee. And baby, I'll rule. I'll rule. I'll rule. I'll rule. <laughs> Let me live that fantasy. I can't Killed control it. get out of her chair. Killed it. <laughs> Loved oh it. Oh my god. Do this to me. <laughs> it's I love hilarious. It. Oh. You're the best. It's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> So let's talk a little bit about uh, more about the show. Um, I know every year, you know, you're so involved and you guys keep it fresh. In 39 years, there's always like new stuff that you guys kind of incorporate into the show, whether it be little sight gags or little jokes. Um, have you been working on some for this year? Oh my goodness, this is this is a smorgasbord, you know, this year. I think at one point in the show, the lights go off and they shut the government down. You know, I asked I ask, uh, Jacob Marley this year when he appears, I said, uh, Jacob Marley, is that you? And he says, yes. I says, but you're a ghost. And then all of a sudden, the music comes on. Oh, my love, my uh, darling. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy. And what are you supposed to do? you got to walk around and put your absolutely, arms around Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> it's crazy, it's crazy. And stuff just obviously falls in our lap about a week or two before we open. I mean, yeah. we're still grabbing for things. Rip from the headlines sometimes. Absolutely. And there's a trust level. Like, you can trust your lighting guy to do something fun, right? You can trust your directors to throw I don't trust at you. them as far as I can <laughs> throw them. No, they pull stuff on me all the time. It's really wild. When we were over in England once, they put the uh, Lord Mayor of, of Kingston upon Hall on stage, and usually the uh, guests come out, and I've fallen on the ice, and I say, I can't get up, give me a hand. And they go, <laughs> and walk off. They told the Lord Mayor, when you applaud, don't leave the stage. Yeah. So he stayed out there with me. Awkward. Thank you. We're running Christmas out of time. Christmas Carol, December 12th through the 15th <laughs> at the Duke Energy Center and December 19th through the 22nd at DPAC. Thank you for joining us today. If you missed anything, check out our website.